This little kid is Yannick Sinner. He didn't know it then, but in about 10 years' time, his life was going to look something like this. The Italian produces surely the match of his life. A first ever win over Novak Djokovic. The tennis world has been dominated by a generation of great players for years. But now, a new generation has emerged. Yannick Sinner is one of those players. Just a few years ago, he was an unknown rookie. Now, he's one of the top players in the world. No stopping him, surely. But he's so young, he is fearless. The 22-year-old Italian has become one of the emerging faces of tennis. And he's become the face not only quickly, but stylishly. So who is Yannick Sinner? The tennis player? Yannick Sinner, that's the future. Probably one of the best youngsters I've ever seen play the game. And the person? I've been called a robot, a machine, a superhuman. He has fun, he's a bit of a jokester. He looks good, Yannick. Always. If you were an up-and-coming player like Yannick Sinner, when would you know that you were kind of a big deal? Maybe it would be when some of the biggest players in your sport are saying things like this about you. I think we'll see so much more from him and he's an exciting guy. And I see him having a great tennis career. Uh, he's got a lot of talent and he has proven that you know he's the future of our sport. He's already actually uh, already the present of our sport. Or maybe it would be when an iconic fashion brand like Gucci asks you to be an ambassador for them. Or maybe it would be when you have a group of fans travelling around the world to watch you play. Dressed as carrots. Why the carrots? Well, I'll let them explain. Sinner has uh, ginger hair, you know. And uh, in Vienna, like four years ago, he ate a carrot during the match. So we say, could be a funny way to support him, uh, you know. For Yannick Sinner, this isn't all just hypothetical. It's his reality. Here's why. If you have a look at what the young Italian has achieved in just 2023 alone, you start to understand why there's so much hype around him. In July, he reached his first Grand Slam semi-final at Wimbledon. In August, he earned his first ATP Masters 1000 title in Toronto. At the start of October, he beat world number three Daniil Medvedev when he won the China Open. The China Open has a new champion. And just a few weeks later, he beat Medvedev again, this time winning the Vienna Open. Joy for Yannick Sinner in Vienna. Just to reiterate, this is all in the last six months, but it helps to explain why these guys have all said what they have about Sinner. In just a few years, the name Yannick Sinner has become synonymous to the future of men's tennis. And part of what makes his story so exciting is that he didn't come to tennis until later on in his life. A lot of great tennis players have something in common. They all started early. Serena Williams and Roger Federer, for example, were both around three years old when they started playing. But when Yannick Sinner was a kid, tennis was a lot more of a hobby for him. His main focus was skiing, and he was really good at it. So good, in fact, that he became a national champion in giant slalom racing when he was eight years old. It wasn't until Sinner was 13 that he started to take tennis a bit more seriously. Now, he's coached by Darren Cahill, the Australian coach behind tennis greats like Andre Agassi and Leighton Hewitt. But back then, Sinner was spotted by a coach called Riccardo Piatti, who's coached various top players like Novak Djokovic. From this point, I play basically every day. Just six years later, Sinner became the youngest ATP Tour winner in 12 years when he won the Sofia Open in 2020. Yannick Sinner is a winner on the ATP Tour, a champion for the very first time. And ever since then, a lot of people have kind of become obsessed with him. But it's not just what Sinner does on the court that has caught people's attention. In the words of the Karata boys, He's really humble, you know? Humble guy. And he is. He regularly takes time to say hello to his fans. And despite a booming career, Sinner often uses his platform to do some good. During the COVID pandemic, he started something called the Sinner Pizza Challenge to raise money for medical supplies in Italy. He's also become part of various different projects to raise awareness of mental health. Ciao, Yanni. Ciao, Filippo. Come on. Younger people have been struggling a lot, staying at home. The mental part is maybe the most important thing you have in your life. Whether he's on or off the court, one thing is clear. Yannick Sinner has his head in the game. Last year I was watching from the stage and now I can play in front of the stage. And as the 2024 Australian Open draws nearer, he is definitely one to keep an eye on.